Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look and installing the eTrailer trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Hyundai Tucson. This is what your hitch is going to look like when it's installed and the great part is it's going to be a hidden cross tube so all that you're going to see from the back of the vehicle is going to be the business end here to get your accessories on where all the structural supports are hidden behind the rear fascia. Visually, you can see it's got a matte black powder coat finish, which I really like. It's gonna hide some scratches and just look good overall. It kind of gives it a nice OEM look. And this is a two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, which is gonna be a great choice for ball mounts, spike racks, or cargo carriers. As this is kind of the standard size. So the world is gonna be endless as far as accessories go. Now when putting those accessories in place, you're gonna keep them in place with your 5 8 pin and clip. Now this doesn't come with the hitch. A lot of times when you pick up your accessories, they'll have ones included. But if you wanna pick up a locking one, we have plenty of options here available to e-trailer, which is great because you can put your accessories in, lock it in place, and you can leave it on the vehicle, not have to worry about it walking away in the hands of someone else. Rolled style safety chain loops here, nice and easy for when hooking up to your trailer. You can put your standard S hooks or even a larger clevis style with no problem. Now, speaking of towing, this is capable of towing a decent amount of weight. You have your gross trailer weight rating coming in at 3,500 pounds, and that's going to be the weight of the trailer plus the accessories loaded up. Now, you also have a tongue weight rating, which is going to be the pressure put down on the inside of the receiver tube opening at 525 pounds. So that's going to be for your suspended accessories, so your cargo carriers, your bike racks. And with that weight limit, you should be able to load it up pretty good. Now before towing, you're gonna to want to check the vehicle's owner's manual and make sure that the vehicle's capable of towing. Um, and compare that number with the hitch, take the lower of those two numbers and that way you're not overloading it. When choosing a ball mount or accessories that fold up, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have clearance to not make contact with your fascia. So measuring from the center of the hitch pin hole to the furthest point of the rear fascia, we're looking at about three and a half inches. As far as installation goes, you'll be happy to find that this is a very easy one to do. There's some factory weld nuts that you're just gonna take the hardware that's included with the hitch and bolt it into place. Uh, this can definitely be done in your driveway or garage. You might wanna grab an extra set of hands to lift the hitch up, but about 30 minutes or so, and you'll be ready to hit the road with your newly installed hitch. So let's take a look at that. Our installation is gonna begin with taking down this center panel, and that's where our hitch is going to live. So in order to get this off, we're gonna have a series of plastic push pins as well as some plastic nuts. There should be four of these plastic push pins, and you'll see there's a few extra that go on these notches. You can leave those alone. We're just gonna go for the four here. So just kind of follow along there to make sure you have all four. And to get these out, pretty easy. Just pry in the center, and then they should come out. Now I'm using a trim panel tool, it makes it really easy to get these pried out, but if not, a flathead screwdriver also works well. Now in these little insets, we also have three 14 millimeter plastic nuts. Now these just kind of slide on a stud that's there. So you can use a 14 millimeter socket. And what I do is I put a little pressure behind it. Sometimes they just kind of spin around since they're plastic. So a little bit of pressure behind it's gonna allow these to get loose. Now we're not gonna be reinstalling this panel, so you can hold on to it if you want, but really uh, there's not gonna be a use for this as the hitch is gonna live in this area. Before we get our hitch in place, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that the weld nuts that we're gonna be attaching it to uh, are nice and clean because overall you're gonna get some road grime and build up and sometimes it can turn into rust, which is gonna make it really tough to get those bolts threaded in. So I use a tube brush uh, to kind of just clean these out. You can use some penetrating oil as well and I would just take your uh, bolts and just kind of run them through just by your hands, make sure that they go in nice and easy before trying to put your hitch up. It's just gonna make it a lot easier while you have that hitch lifted in place. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll go ahead and get this in place. Now the instructions say that you can lower down the exhaust to help the installation, but if you can kind of just move it a little bit, you should be able to get it out of the way. And you're gonna want to have your hardware, at least one on each side ready. And it's gonna be this bolt with a conical tooth washer and those teeth are gonna bite into the metal of the hitch. And we're just gonna go ahead and get one started on each side and that way it's gonna hold the hitch up, allowing us to get the rest of the hardware up. 
You're going to have uh, two of your holes here, uh, the weld nuts on the side of the frame as well as the one on the bottom. So just go ahead and get them all in place on both sides of the vehicle. Now if it's not lining up either down here or up top, you may need to take just a, uh, a dead blow hammer and kind of knock it around to kind of align it. These do sit on the frame rail so it can get a little bit tight. So just knocking that a little bit with the hammer should get everything perfect. And we'll be coming back with the torque wrench so we don't have to get crazy as far as making this super snug. We just want it kind of cinched up. And I suggest doing the bottom ones first. That way it kind of pulls the hitch up and then we can do the side ones. So we're going to be using an 11 16th socket to accomplish that. Now going back with that same socket, we're going to go ahead with our torque wrench and get these torqued down to the torque settings that are found in the instruction manual. Now if you need a torque wrench, we have them here at E-Trailer. You can generally go to an auto parts store and rent one for free. Uh, so we'll go through and just make sure that these are all torqued properly. And that's just going to make sure they don't come loose over time, but also that it's not too tight putting stress on the threads. Once you have everything torqued down, that's going to do it for the installation of the hitch. The only thing left to do is load up your accessories and hit the road. And that was a look and installation of the e-trailer trailer hitch receiver on a 2022 Hyundai Tucson.